dirty vehicles. Dirty, 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 dirty. Shame on all of y'all. Look at this, not even a week later, I already messed it up. Hit a small child on the way home. Maybe a pig, I don't know what it was, it was dark. But yeah, I kind of hit something in it tore it up a little bit but i mean it's on there pretty good it ain't going nowhere so here on this channel we really don't focus on just doing mazda things or just car things uh we actually do truck stuff and the truck stuff that i'm talking about is fixing my broken ass bunk ass dirty ass dodge ram 1500 so i really don't show this truck too much mainly because it's just my daily i've had it for about maybe four going on five years already and uh, it's been nothing but problems since I first got it. I mean, this is gonna be the third wheel bearing I'm gonna put in and the second pair of CV axles. So I just decided, you know what, since I'm replacing all the suspension anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and buy a six inch lift. It has spacers on the strut towers and it also has a two and a half inch uh, suspension shocks on it. They're fully maxed out. So it's actually a really rough ride, but I'm just gonna go ahead and I mean, full send it, go with the six inch lift and the wider tires and stuff. So first we gotta take care of this. So as you can see, I got the brake caliper off. I have the rotor off, I have the brakes out. And yeah, that's an interesting story. So last week, which is a completely different week for y'all watching this video, I was on my way to work in the morning and pretty much without warning, four of my wheel studs snapped and just leaving me one to ride on. And somehow I made it to work. Thank God I wasn't going that fast because as soon as I got off of work, I went over the first speed bump right out of the parking lot of my job and I almost set the wheel right into the field. Me and my dad are actually on the way to Harbor Freight right now so I can buy a three ton jack because I done goofed and bought a two ton jack a long time ago when I should have just bought the three if I knew I was getting a truck. Ooh. So we're back from Harbor Freight and we got the we got the jack. So let's just see what's in here. Congratulations on your new get the hell out of here. Gotta make sure it can lift the load. Oh yeah. Alright, oh, she good. So I did what I pretty much needed to do this morning. Got the jack. I got pretty much the whole brake caliper off, the rotor off. Tomorrow I'm probably gonna go to AutoZone and get a new wheel bearing and new CV axle and uh, probably a new rotor, and then uh, just knock it out. But if y'all excuse me, I got some tacos to inspect inside. So until then. The next morning. All red everything, but I ain't no blood. Still need to run to AutoZone to get some parts, like the rotor and some PV blaster and some wipes and stuff. So let's go inside and see what we can get. I got the brake rotor, and then I got a couple of goodies, uh, like towels and spray and gloves and all that. All that good stuff, you know, to deal with the grease. So now all we gotta do is pretty much take off the wheel bearing and see uh, if we actually need a wheel bearing or if we just need the studs and to see if we actually need a CV axle. I got all of this removed. I got the knuckle taken off. I got the brake caliper taken off, the CV axle out of the wheel bearing. This whole knuckle is just hanging loose on the tie rod. I was actually looking at the CV axle and kind of like playing with it a little bit and it doesn't seem to be damaged. I don't... I thought it was leaking grease, but I think it's just from the tie rod uh, ball joint right here where it ripped open the boot. I think that's where the grease is coming from because honestly, this boot looks solid still and it still feels like there's grease in there. So we might actually not have to replace it after all, which is good because I don't sp feel like spending 160 bucks for a brand new one. Cleaned up the wheel bearing with the PB blaster, degreaser, brake cleaner, whatever you want to use. But honestly, it's still in really good condition. I mean, look, it's still shiny nice and shiny still turns really smooth i'm pretty sure the abs sensor is fine i mean it's hanging it hasn't touched anywhere near the wheel but yeah other than like a little bit of scratching on it i mean from usual wear and tear i mean this wheel bearing is still good look at these wheel studs look boom broken broken all of them broken except for this one that was just about to break, but you can see that little end in it about to snap. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I don't have to completely buy a brand new wheel bearing and CV axle. I can save a couple hundred bucks and just replace the studs. Just gotta wait for them to come in, hopefully in the next couple of days, and we'll get to rolling. 72 hours later. Well, that didn't work. So I just went ahead and bought a new wheel bearing. Uh, not the cheapest wheel bearing, cost me like 200 bucks. 
I just uh, got the rotor two and some brake pads and we're gonna try to install this on my lunch break, by the way. I'm at work still and uh, I'm gonna try to do this real quick so I can go back. So we got the new wheel bearing on. Uh, the three bolts in the back with the 21 millimeter deep socket are in, torqued down. Uh, now we pushed the CV axle through and we have the CV axle nut on. Now we just gotta use uh, the pry bar to hold it down so that way it can torque it down correctly. And then we'll just reconnect the tie rod and then the uh, upper ball joint. Okay, so in further review of the situation, the CV axle is no good because I fucking just literally ripped it apart. So I called my buddy Charles here to help me out. He has a Dodge too, so we're gonna try to knock this thing out because it's already been two months, low key. So I think what happened with the accident that I had at work was somehow the bottom of the spindle got bent, I guess, and like it won't come out. So we had to resort to cutting the boot and just taking out the CV axle from, I mean, from the outside. So pretty much just gonna throw everything back together and then try to park it in a better position, probably underneath the house. And uh, we'll just replace the CV axle later on. Finally, two months later, after just being lazy and not motivated at all anymore to fix it, me and Charles got it done. Hell yeah, brother. I do have one of the new wheels on right now, but uh, I'm gonna make a separate video for that. That's why it's dark and that's why I'm not lighting it up because it's gonna be a surprise for y'all. So like I said, we're gonna go replace the CV axle uh, maybe sometime this coming week, maybe next week, I don't know. Um, but we are gonna put the new wheels on too with that. Uh, I don't know if I need a new battery or not. We just got it started, so I'm letting it run and seeing if it'll hold charge. So far, it's doing pretty good. I do have to get an oil change for it, and I gotta go put gas in it. So we're probably just gonna ride around town just for a little bit, just to test it out, make sure nothing's completely broken. And there you have it, boys. All four wheels on with the same tires, of course. I mean, the truck's been down for quite a bit of time, so I haven't even drove it. So instead of having one, we got all four on now and she is complete. These are my new V-Rock Raid, I think that's what they're called. Uh, 20 by 12, but this time with the negative 44 offset, giving it that nice, meaty, aggressive look. Exactly what I wanted. I don't know if I want to take off the fender flares or not. I'm thinking about taking them off just so it looks a lot wider. And of course, you know, got to get the Pokey Boys on that red this time. So all in all, she's looking a lot better. And uh, I think I can rock with this for right now. She runs great. She actually runs a little bit smoother than she did before. I guess it's just because of the wider tires and stuff and the wheels making it, I guess, balance out a little bit more. I'm not too sure, but it feels good to drive a truck again. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love driving the blue turd. I love driving the speed. But at the end of the day, there's nothing that beats driving a truck, especially since it's summertime already or right around the corner, you know, because I'm always at the beach, I'm always at the river, and I need the truck to do truck stuff with. I can't, can't take the speed to the beach always and clean it because it gets messy. I have a lot of things coming for this uh, in the future. I'm gonna try to make some more videos about it, you know, because I do got the six inch lift coming. Uh, I'm gonna do the headlights, grills. I have a lot of little goodies I'm gonna do. Uh, we are about to install a bunch of stuff onto the speed pretty soon here in a couple of months. And I also got a surprise video for y'all uh, because my sister got a new car, so you may have seen it uh, a couple of clips ago, but we'll get to that. Anyways, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I'm gonna head to AutoZone and get the LED dome light so that way it can be a little bit more spunky in here. But hope y'all like the video. Make sure to subscribe and like, and uh, I'll take care now, you hear? And I'll see y'all in the next one.